projects like Boo, the Halloween Gnome, or Happy Thanksgiving Gnome, or everyone's favorite, the Celebrate Freedom Patriotic Gnome. Well, there's a buzz going around, Craft Fancy. Wait, wait a second. It's here. That's right. It's spring, and it's the Spring Bee Gnome Card Kit. That's right. On 4-15-2023, in the one-of-a-kind group, Craft Fancy will be going live with our project. We'll be making two wonderful cards during our time slot. And our custom kit includes pattern paper to card stocks, vellum, die cuts, glass rhinestones, and envelopes are included to create the four cards, two cards per design. Also included will be the Gnome B add-ons and the B stamp set, all for $36. But remember, two things not included in this kit. That's right, it's the original Gnome die, because we're already assuming you have that from past kits, and also, adhesives are not included. So you want to make sure that you get over to www.craftfancy.com, head down to shop, go down to where it says custom card kits, be able to get that honey sweet deal right there for $36. It's the Spring Bee Gnome Kit. Make sure you add that to your cart because it's going to be unbelievable when you do your project with us on 415 in the One of a Kind group. I can't wait to see you there. Hello? 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 How's everyone doing? It's Craft Fancy time. What time is it? It's Craft Fancy time. It's Craft Fancy time. Are you okay? No, Did I'm not okay. Drink How's everyone drink? doing today? It's uh, it's Craft Fancy. I'm just all excited. Everything seems to be working. So Don't say it too fast because you got to knock on wood. Yeah, I know. I know. Look at that. We got some people tuning in already. That's a great sign. Uh, so we're not talking to ourselves. Uh, we got uh, Penny Blaylark joining us, Mike Herman's joining us, uh, Lori LaFrance, Penny Blaylark's watching from Washington State, Mike Herman says good, excellent, excellent, uh, Tina Schumacher is watching from uh, Royal Oak, Michigan, look at all the people tuning in. Uh, Fancy time. That's right. It's craft fancy time. Janet Peterson, Grace Griswold's joining us down there from Florida, Diane Green's coming in. It's craft fancy time. It's craft fancy. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. Are you on? Are you high? No, oh, I must be high. You know why? I got a lot of good stuff going on today. We got a great project coming up. Uh, well, we got a couple minutes, Carol, and then also too is I think you got some some stuff you want to talk about, don't you? About what? About the project? No, about pro stuff that came into the store. Oh yeah, I have some new stuff. You got some stuff. We have some there. new stuff from craft fancy and some new product from. Um, different different manufacturers. Different stuff. Because let's see how far we're going to go yes. with the project, and then we'll go from there. That's it. That's it. So I'm going to give a minute or two just to let everyone come on in. So how's everyone uh, doing today? What a, I, I, I think we got I think we got some serious work. There was a lot of great presentations from what I've yeah, been I watching know. today. So uh, just... Uh, we need to meet the, at least the minimum standard. I know. I know. I'm afraid we might get kicked out of this group because our standards aren't, aren't good <laughs> enough for the group. So... Three three years. Yeah, I know. I, I'm shocked it's already three years. I know. And then what's the hard part about the uh, the Craft Fancy thing is it's like uh, three years ago, I didn't even know what Facebook really was, let alone becoming so, the, the everything, wizard. Everything what you do with the videos and... Right, right. All the projects. Live, the products and it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been crazy. It is. And, and again, too, it's uh, thank you all the craft fancy viewers out there too because it's uh it, again you guys uh there's always in business there's always i always consider there's three fruit bearing trees to make a business successful uh you have your retail store we had shows that we were involved with heavily and then the internet and we were always focused on the store and then and the shows, shows yeah. and then this whole world changed over and now our internet sales are are through the roof now so it's yep. 
and that's and that's great. Thank you very much. Because like I said earlier, now that's crap fancy, I can talk a little more. I I I truly appreciate that every customer that we always have, and that's why we pride ourselves on making sure that we have the stuff in stock and ready to go out and ship it out as quick as possible. Because I know you guys can easily go click on somewhere else and get it. And uh, I appreciate that you guys give us, the small business, the opportunity to serve you guys. And if you're watching and you're not a customer of ours yet, give us a chance and uh, you'll always make sure that you'll be our customer because uh, not only is it online, but you can always call the store and get someone in, involved and stuff. So that's that's always great. Look at all the people tuning in. I got Lori Brown, Kathleen Resler Moore. Thank you so much, guys, for all the appreciative uh comments that you guys are making here carol parker happy anniversary oh it's been a great way to keep crafting it is it is i can't and again too i get it there's people that can't go to shows or people that are so uncomfortable going to shows yep. so it's a great great thing and then like this there's no show this weekend right not any shows that i know of right. at least and then uh you know it gives us a good shot all right guys so we took a couple minutes here and uh and uh I think it's time to do some yep. projects, right? What do you think, Carol? Yes, it's time. All right. I'm, I'm going to get you to the overhead view. Thanks, guys, for listening to that. And uh, let's see what Carol's got to work on today. Today, we're doing the Nomi Spring V Nomi card kit. So we're doing two cards. One is the left, which is a, we're using the die. Um, and we're using, the, we die cut, we actually die cut it with the die and then using the die cut as a stencil. We always try to emphasize that if you're going to buy something, try to maximize the usage because you, you know, it, crafting is expensive, right? We know it's expensive probably. So we want to be able to utilize the die cut that, you know, if you purchase it or you use your die cut to use as a stencil versus just die cutting it as a background. So it's the same die and I have the background here using as the, the you know, we call this a hexagon. Um, background but it's kind of like a beehive you know background layer so we're going to start with the um, stenciling one first so today we're going to use the we're going to make this project we're going to make this one first and you are going to need a where's my yeah here's the bottle screen so i already cut my little card base this is my stencils that i was i have been using and i've been i still using it so use it until you can't use it so i'm just kind of centering it now, what, what do you do when you're making your, uh, the question that I got right now is that you're, you're using a piece of paper for yes. that, for that, uh, stencil. Yep. Was that just copy paper? It's just a Nina. I, my go-to white cardstock, it's always the Nina Solo White. Um, 80 pound weight It's my layering. It's my die cutting. If I use white, that's the paper I'm going to go. It's just. I don't have to figure out, well, which one is white, which one is this, what's the weight. I already know that's the one I'm going to go with. So I, I have a ream at home. I have a, We have reams open at the store. Right. We need to cut something. That's what that's what we use. Right. Now, it doesn't have to be white, right? So if they're playing along at home and, yeah, and you they're trying to do that. like a natural color. You can use you can use a craft background if you want. Right. Um, there's different ones you can do. You can try, you can try different colors just to see how, how which one works for you. But the, the key, I think, is the thickness of the paper. You right. I like, a, I like a heavy weight. Um, it's not so flimsy. and It'll take the inks a lot better yep. and, and it will give you a little longer lasting. So it's not like a one and done type uh, right. stencil. Right. Exactly. So like, like right now, I use it at least five or six times. You can kind of tell the color. The middle is a little darker. The outside is a little whiter. So um, I go, this is my go-to paper. Um, and yep. it's very cost effective if you buy, we, we, we open by the ream at the store, but if you break it down, um, at the retail cost, we're talking like 15 cents a sheet. Right. And, and then if you get a stencil out of it, like you said, you get multiple stencils, right. uses of a stencil out of that, that, uh, that pays for itself considering what a stencil is typically what? Six, seven dollars. There you go. Six is the low, but there's eight, you know, seven, eight. Custom stencils, crap fancy style. So I'm just I'm just taping it down so then it's not gonna move. Let's add one more on the top. top. And I'm using the um, purple tape or the iCraft tape. So again, those are reusable. You could just peel it off and then save it until it won't stick anymore. And I'm using just the little size of the crap fancy blending brushes. I'm using two yellow. I'm using a darker yellow, which is the mustard seed. 
and then a lighter one, which is the sea, squeezed lemonade. So I'm going to go in the middle, go a little darker. Then on the outside, I'm going to go light shade. So I want to have some kind of fading effect on my um, stencil, on my uh, background. While you're blending that, uh, we got a lot of comments again. You know, on a, a, you know, Tina Murray loves purchasing from us. Uh, we have Grace Goodwall. Don't forget about your excellent customer service. Yep. Uh, Christine is saying that she loves us. Love you guys. Um, Mike Herman, Mikey Herman says he's been enjoying this for almost two years now. Not, not a virgin anymore. All right. There you go. That's a Craft Fancy fan right there. So. Uh, then we got uh, Penny Clark saying hi, and hi Brian and Carol. Hi, Renee Bennett is there. Happy anniversary! Yeah. So ready for the project. Hey Renee, out there in California land. Uh, Carol McKinley saying thank you for everything you do. You have these events down to a science. Carol, there's so much craziness that goes on behind the backgrounds. Uh, it's I'm, it's amazed that I don't have as many screw ups as I have. I think anyone that does events or does anything online, yep. it's uh, you would know. It's more luck than it is skill sometimes. And, I'm just going to uh, add a little yellow around it to make it. Excellent. And, and, then, you got, it, and then you got the two brushes so, you're, so right, you I'm can do it a little sure quicker. Yep. So it doesn't have, it's not going to be perfect because you want kind of like a natural, you know, like a natural looking. And I use the stencil again, so I can use it again the next time I'm going to play with this. I have uh, Lee Sullivan saying that she's so happy she bought a ream of the knee high. Nina. Nina. I always All say right. knee high, but Nina. It's the Brian copy and paper. We know yep. it. So I'm done with the inking, so I'm going to just put the brushes stuff aside. But here's my background. Here's my background. So I'm going to just peel this off. Like I said, I saved the little purple tape just because you could reuse them. And now I need to ink, uh, stamp the, the B onto the background. And I'm using my old Misty. There's a new one out, but I don't have the new one yet. I'm just kind of lining it up so then this is where I want it to be. Now that's that's the older Misty that that's we're using. That's the first uh, the first first, first generation there's yeah. new misties now actually out did you guys see that it's uh we're actually giving it away as a prize too there's a, the black one the black ones that are out there I like the black one. so i'm just gonna line by, it up by the way while we're lining those up getting ready to stamp that guys any questions comments or concerns uh, be sure to voice them on here uh we are reading comments we are coming live on the one of a kind group right now the craft fancy page and then also too we are on the one of a kind group YouTube. on YouTube. I'm using Versafine Clear um, Black. I like this because it's very, it gives you a very crisp image when you ink it. Um, and it, it's not full copaic. It's just really like a pigment slash dye bay, uh, pigment ink, but it dries very fast. So I've been using it for, oh my God, like a year now. I like, I really love this ink. So it doesn't have to ink too much. And it's a very crisp image. There you go. I just stamped it kind of one time, drop it on, and it's perfect. So I'm going to just let it dry a little bit. It doesn't take long. I'm going to miss the out. Liz is telling me she can always use an extra stamping platform. And then Anne Marie is coming back. Versifying Claire is the best the for best. fine it, it, details. It is. It's the best. I'm just grabbing a little card base. Again, I use Nina on my all my white. And our kit also used the Nina white card base as well. Right, right. I, I was uh, I was a little, I was kind of shocked a lot of times when I when I see that that a lot of uh a lot of people actually, Carol, they haven't tried it yet. Oh, the Nina? Right. When when we were posted in the one mm -hmm. of a kind group that we're giving away some reams that they didn't they haven't tried it yet and they, they always excited to try it. So that's yeah. It's it's a it's it's I would say it's different. It's one of those. You I have think to really try it to to could you know see the difference. I think once you once you find it, once you try it, it's one of those once you try it, it's like how did I live without it? Right. So I'm going to add some foam tapes in the back just to raise it and make it a little more dimensional. So there's my foam. 
square. I'm just using this little foam square because I'm going to be using this on the on this card later on. So I'm going to just keep everything the same. You can use as many as you want, as few as you want. It's really your project. I'm just going to put a few for right now. And these are 3L scrapbook adhesive foam square, so it's always good. Penny Blaylark is saying that she loves the bee. And then perfect image, I love the bee. Oh my gosh, there's Kathleen Moore already. She's already asking when's the next when's the next video is gonna get posted. It when's should, the, next um, the next one should be come hopefully not next week. Um hopefully it's the week after next week. Yes, yes. We'll get another video. We're there's a uh, for May. There's a dude. Yes, students. May May nineteenth for May nineteenth, and then uh, May so, no nine the twentieth. Is it the twentieth? I yeah. thought it was May nineteenth. Nineteenth is Friday. Oh, is it okay? So May twenty. Uh, yeah, it's not due next week because Craft Fancy will be out at the CKC show yes. in uh, okay. St. Collinsville, Illinois, which is St. Louis area. So you're going to see us out there along with the other, some of the other uh, one of a kind. Yep. So people. I think um, Ziba Chuck is going to be there. Ziba Chuck. I think B is going to be there. And Karen from B Creative is um, going to be there. So be sure to stop and see them. Want to Scrap going to be there. Want to Scrap will be there. I'm just laying it over and I'm just going to cut them at the same time to look like this. I'm just going to cut it together. And then if I need to be shortened, I just push this guy back. And then cut at this end. So. All right, you're talking about CKC. Yeah, so they're going to be there. Uh, Riley and Company's not there, but Riley and Company, we... We'll have some of the products there. Yeah, right. We are carrying Riley and Company in our booth mm -hmm. uh, this year. So be sure to stop by the uh, Craft Fancy booth if you're interested in the Riley and Company stamps and dies. We are, uh, we are representing... R Riley, so at least I'm trying to represent in the house. So let's see what else we got out here, man. Got some comments, man. How's my time? You're looking good. Okay. You're looking good. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay. Central Standard Time. Just gonna kind of lay it right there and test it out. I cut a little bit shorter here. We're just in my sample, but you can cut as much as you want or as little as you want. I also, as the part of the homework, I also pre-stamped the bee happy, and I made a couple extra bees. Um, and I use Copic to color the little B, the yellow on the B. So I have a Copic markers here. It's no shading or nothing. It's just a, I use Y13. Um, I use the black as well in case there's a little white spot when I stamp it and show up perfectly. So I did that ahead of time as part of the homework because by the time you fuzzy cut it and stamp it and color it, it might not have enough time for us to um, finish both cart within 45 minutes. Shannon saying, thank you for all you do to bring these shows to us online. This rocks. Sandy McQuaid saying, I really do like this stencil. A little different take on other beehive stencils. Then we got Heidi saying, I have 90 pound and 110 pound. Yep, and I, I like both. both. Yep. Wendy Osborne saying, hello from Virginia. I can't believe it's been three years, she also it's said. three years. Are there dyes for the bees? Heidi here's the, here's is Here's a question. Do you think we should make the die for the stamp set? We did not plan to, but if you think we should make the die, that die cuts the, you know, because that's a stamp set, right? That came with your kit. You think we should make the die for everything or just certain images? Let us know. Right. There it is. Get the, get it in the comments now, everybody. So, because again, as we create these things, we want to create stuff that everyone can enjoy, but... Uh, if, uh, but at the same point, too, is I don't want to, again, everything's got a cost, and I want to sell something that you guys like. So if we can't, if you guys don't want to die with everything, then why would we do that? We want to make sure that we give something good with you guys. Yep. And I'm so. just um, adding the little B onto my cart as I did the homework that I pre cut it, and then. Um, I got just the B, yes to the dies, okay. die for the B and honeycomb. Awesome. Well, it's not difficult for us to make it. It's just it wasn't like I don't know. I didn't think I didn't think about it as I was we were doing. It's, the, it's hard the to think for the masses sometimes. Right, and now I just need to add the little gems. One, two, three, four, five. There, and I have my little gems here and a little tray. So I'm just gonna pick a few of them out. 
And then Renee Bennett saying that she, I adore the gnomes and the B card is super cute too. Tina saying, uh, will we see you at the GLMM, which is the Great Lakes Mega Meet, and that's Mother's Day weekend. Yes. And yes, we will be there. We have about 15 lines that we represent, so I will see you there. And then just some of the lines are Memory Box, Poppy. Uh, we have uh, Riley and Company, so yep. we'll be doing cut-ups and funny bones. And uh, again, just go to their website, check it out, all the listings of what we got. So it's a, it's a great show. You guys want to definitely check it out, Tina. And then, oh, look at Leslie Shirley saying, see you in St. Louis. All yes. right. Carrie is, uh, I live in Nina, Wisconsin, Wisconsin? Yep. and I have never used that paper, but one, one here a couple shows ago, love the paper. Penny Blaylark says, is there an coordinating dies for this B stamp set? There isn't, but if people, you know, you guys tell us, do you think we need to make right. the... Right, and that's the question that we were asking, Penny, so uh, do you guys, would you guys like to see that, because we can make that happen? It How, will take about at least 30 days. Mar and Marlene was asking, how wide are the strips? Um, for the black, the black polka dot, it's about five eighth of an inch. The yellow, it's half inch. There you go. I hope that answered your question there. Five eighths and about a half inch. Marlene. And then Pat Grossman, are there dies for the B? Which there isn't right now, but we were just checking if everybody think we need to make the little the little die for the bees. You know, like the, the bees, the that guy, this guy, maybe oh, a couple of the sentiments. Here's a great question. Uh, because we do have the Crafters Workshop brand that we carry at the Mega Meet. Crafters, yes, the TCW. TCW. Uh, Tina is asking, will you have stencil butter at the Great Lakes Mega Meet? Yes, we are expecting to get um, the newest release out there. We are expecting to get the new release for the spence, spence, uh, stencil book. Yep, I think you're off camera. Oh. Yeah, there you are. There see, you they got to be able to see. I can't All see right. half you. You're, so, all, you're not half price. I know, I'm half half off. <laughs> so um, first card's done. So it's very super easy. Um, stamp it, ink the background. You could use any sentiments you want with what you already Let's have or with the sentiment that came with the stamp set. So you could use anything on the set or whatever you have that it's bee related. Sometimes bee is popular, sometimes it's not. Depends on who you talk to. Right. You know what? I, I'm going to just jump back here. You know what I like about that card? Yes. What? It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, just like you. Yeah. I'm trying to see what's on. <laughs> Never mind. Awesome. You're still looking. You're still shopping. So, all right. All right. That was a great, great thing. First one's done. First Here's one's the done. second one. Should, this one, should we work with the second one already? or? Yeah, we should work on the second one. All right. Because this go. one's going to take a little longer. All right. Oh, all right. This I'm going to just move this down. Just a little. We'll definitely take a little bit longer because we have to build the background. I hear the honeycomb, build the gnome, the wings, and then we add a little bit of honeycombs back there. So there's more work involved. All right. Say. Okay. All right. So let's go on to the second one. Yeah. Let's take, take our time. All right. So... Here is the cart. Here is the background and the, the polka dot. So I basically, what I did was I trimmed the, the honeycomb down a little bit just so that I could see a little bit on the black edges. And I still see the polka dot background. So I'm going to just double adhere this piece first onto the black using the 3L adhesive. I switch back and forth. I Sometimes I use the ABG, sometimes I use this. So. Okay. We got a late joiner joining us, but she's never too late. It's Kelly Randolph joining us. Hi, Kelly. Saying hi to us. Heidi uh, Heidi Gatura says, yes, yes, please. I assume that was for the dyes. Uh, Renee Roberts says, yes, for the dyes. Okay. At least the bees. Yep. Dyes, I so. know. It's, it was not. Everyone likes dyes. If you have to cut dyes. a lot of them, it's not fun. And now I'm going to add foam squares on the back of the honeycomb, just so that it gives me a little bit more dimension. Penny Blaylark says, I cannot buy a, I can't buy a stamp set without the coordinating dies because I have corporal tunnel and can no longer fussy cut. Nope, totally. So I get it. We got that. Thank you very much, Penny. Especially when the bees are little nice yep. to die cut them. Yes. Put a survey on your Facebook page. We could do that. Thank you very much for the suggestion there, Heidi. 
Uh, Tina Murray's asking, wish you were going to be at the Akron, Ohio show. I tried to contact them. They wouldn't answer my email. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the show was full. Um, and I emailed the show promoter and I didn't get an answer back. So maybe next year. Always next year. We'll try again. We, because we were at that show before. We've so. been, we used to go to that show and some, once in a while, they, it's always like a split. So there was a split. Before was a split weekend, right? I remember. I think it was a split. Yeah, so we had to pick one or the other, or sometimes we go to go, go to both. But then with COVID, it was not there for a year, and they came back. But then it was um, interfering with my another show because with COVID, it changes everything. So um, we didn't go last year, and I think because we didn't go last year, and we couldn't get back in. Right. And then Liz is asking uh, any plans for Edison, New Jersey, in August. And I gotta ask the driver for that. That well, that's me. So that's uh, we're not going to Edison this year. The closest that we're going to be going is uh, a little further north up there, uh, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, not Missouri. West Springfield in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. So that's that's we're going to be up north that way, Liz. Unfortunately, not not in the Edison this year. So kind of just laid it right there on the. Base and now I'm gonna put it onto the cart base. Pat Grossman says, "Rub the tip of the sticky pen, and then it'll make it sticky again." Yes. Wipe it off with a little, maybe a little water. Um. Kathy Planter is saying she's looking forward to seeing us in Arlington, Texas, in yep. June. We will be there in June. That's right. All our Texas peeps, get ready. We're coming down. I think that's like the only Texas show, too, right? Yes, that is the only Texas shows this year because they they cancel the San Marcos show um, because of a scheduling issue. So um, that's that's what happened. They couldn't get the date of it uh, to work with the schedule. Right. Right. So um, so just putting the adhesive on the back. Uh oh, Crafty Angela's. Was talking to Jean, Jean Laporte, asking her, you're doing the project, aren't you? I know how much you love Craft Fancy. I didn't order it in time. Well, the good news is that we still, we still have, have kits. kits. We're always going to have, we, we, we're going to try to have extra kit, even though we finish with the project. Because when we do the shows, a lot of people ask us to bring the kit. Holy hell, home. yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe how crazy that is that we have, when we do the, uh, when we go to the shows, so many people ask us, Oh, I saw the video, and Here's do you the have kit. the kit? Do you have the kits? You know, so that's that's really awesome. So I I learned that the kits never retire. You know, as soon as the project ends, it, it doesn't go away. There's constant right. constantly stuff that yep. goes on all the so time. So now I'm gonna add the little honeycomb, kind of like what I did over here onto this card. So what I did was I used little foam squares just behind the behind the honeycomb, and then just kind of build a little a little. What do you call it? Dap a little, dap a little, little dimension. Dimension. You need some dimension. So I'm just put the foam square on there. If you're not using foam square, you could use a little strip. Just cut it and fill in the little spot. Yeah, pop that out of the way. Yep. That's right. Pop it right on there. Don't and then you're bashful. also gonna need a little bit on the back of the gnome because it's gonna stand right here. You need some support. That's right. Don't be shy because you know you can always go to craftfancy.com and order it. Or if you see us at the show, you know we always have a show special on the pieces. And don't do anything because we have a code for today. Yeah, codes. Would it be okay to show the code? Yeah, go ahead, show the code. All right. Guys, guys, pay attention for a second. Hello? Look at your screen. There's a code that's going to pop up. There it is. Take 15% off your entire purchase, excluding class kits and clearance, as always. We want to use code SPRING23. That's SPRING23. At checkout, and it's an online sale only. Remember, online sale only. You can order online and pick it up at the store, but all orders have to go through online. And it's valid 415 to 417. So don't delay. Get those orders in today. It's spring 23. Right. And, of course, we'll show it again at the end. And then I'm just going to put this little hexagon right back on the, on the little square. On the knuckle square, the hexagon shape. 
Oh, look at Kathy's working today too. So, wow, I thought she was Kathy's just up answering there. questions. I thought she was just hanging around up front, looking out the window. She's gonna come and beat you up. Yeah, I know. I know. We actually have customers in the store too, so I know I, she's 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 a good worker today. I guess maybe we don't need to find <laughs> anybody today. Today, and then also too, we have a new employee that's working with us too. Yes. We have a young girl that's working for us. Young. Her name is Victoria. Yep. So I'm, I'm excited that we, we found a younger person to help us out. She's in college, so she kind of helps us out a day or two here and there. So I'm excited. Yay. Don't scare her away, Brian. <laughs> Are you kidding? With my charm and personality, she'll be a lifelong craft fancy person. Oh, my God. <laughs> Right. Oh. I'm just going to add the little, build a little background. And we need to then now build a gnome. You all know how to build a gnome because we have done it, not the first time. So here's the hat. But of course, we're going to tell you how to build it because there's always someone new that's watching. Any new members out there, by the way? Hat. I got the wings. Any newbies? Give us a shout. Where's my beard, my feet, and my nose? Trying to get all my pieces out because I got a little baggy for them. Are you trying to say you're getting all your pieces in a row? Yeah. I can get all my ducks in the row. In the row. So I have a little baggy. Look at them. I got little baggies. Because we do a lot of the gnome stuff and we cut them and then we bag them up. <laughs> Just makes it life easier sometimes. You know, and that's the thing for home too. A lot of times, you know, so I do this sometimes too. When I, when I get, we all get to that point where you hit a wall, right? Yep. And, and you're just like, I'm not real crafty today, but I want to be in my room. I want to do something so I can feel like I feel accomplished. Right. A lot of times I'll just grab some dies and just start cutting some pieces up like that. Just, yep. just so I feel like I did something. Yep. So don't, don't be bashful. You know, you can't be creative. You can't have the creative juice juices going day. all the time. So I'm just flipping it backward. Use a little temporary strip, like a scrap piece of a strip that, um, um, just piece them together. Well, what are you using there? Our glitter with our little um, auto tip from Crank Fancy. Holy cow, we got a newbie. We got a newbie here, Janice O'Leary. Hi, Janice. I am here. I wish I could uh, get to the show, get the show back in Madison, Wisconsin. It was the best. Yes, I. We know. We we know. I, I believe me. I don't. I don't like not having that show too. And then Wisconsin doesn't have a show anymore, so we keep looking. Uh, prices is. Prices are crazy out there right now for halls. Yep. So just stay tuned. I, I know you're missing it, Janice, and you and a bun bunch of other people. So let's see if we can't get something back there, even if it's around in that area or somewhere in Wisconsin. But, uh, yeah, we, we I believe me, I'm not happy that we're not there either. So Nancy Rossi saying the gnomes are so cute. I got Lori uh, Bailey joining us saying hello. Well, hello, Lori. Uh, Beth Schuster saying, are you coming to Lancaster, Pennsylvania? Yes, we are. Just yes. I'm coming just to see you. I'm here for the for the cupcakes. They have the cupcake place. Oh, yeah, the cupcake place. Yes. Yeah, we will be out there, Beth. Uh, so make sure you sign up for their uh, Thursday night technique class so you can I think get the registration started. Did it start already? Yep. So make sure you sign up for that, and then you get to shop that Thursday night right away in the whole booth. So I can't miss out on that. Penny Blaylark says, hi, Kathy. Look forward to hearing your laugh at the Oak presentation. Yes, she's got the laugh. I'll make her laugh tonight. Oh, then Tina saying that Molly Bishop is a newbie. I know because she is my mother. <laughs> Lots of laugh. Well, hello, Molly Bishop. Thanks for joining us. Joining in, watching with us. Shoes How you doing there, Carol? Good, I, I, I see you little, doing a lot of building. I'm just adding a little shoe behind the gnome. And then just trimming off the edges. That's all. Look at that. Renee Bennett, man. She's got the pom-poms out today because she's doing some cheerleading for us. Awesome. Saying, welcome, newbies. You won't find California. a better group of vendors starting with Craft Fancy. They are like family. Well, thanks, Renee. Thank you. Renee nice. Roberts is, uh, yes, Wisconsin needs a show. I'm a newbie. Yes. Welcome, Renee. Thanks for being a newbie. All right. So I got the gnome built up. Kind of basically, I'm going to just flip it back and add the wings on the back. So the wings are like 
a full set of wings and then like a half set a half set of wings and it's cut with vellum so i just kind of tacked them like this kind of like overlapped it a little bit and then put a little strip of score tape behind it where is my little strip just just a tiny little strip i'm gonna just kind of if you don't mind carol i'm gonna kind of just i'd like to zoom in a little on this one okay just as you're working with those wings Cause, cause it, and then try to work with it when it, on the black, so they can see it a little better. So just kind of like center it. If you want to make sure if it's where you want to position it, so what I do is I flip it back. Just get an idea like where you wanted it, right? Like right, kind of like right there. You don't want to be too low. You don't want to be too high. You want to be kind of like right above the the hat, the curve of where the hat is. Kind of like right there. And I just hold it and I just put a little strip on the back to secure it. Doesn't need doesn't need much. So once you got secure, you position where you want it Bring onto your card down there. onto your card. Kind of like right, like the second, like the third row, and then the second hexagon. No, actually I go up a little bit. The first hexagon on the third row. Because you have to don't forget, you have to add your sentiments on the bottom. If you get it too low, then it's going to be off center. So kind of like right there. Let's kind of position this right there. So you want to kind of go right right there. Because if you want to go too far to the edge, then your cart might, the wing might fold when you put in an envelope. So that's where I kind of like it. And now I'm going to just add a little foam square on the back on this area. Just kind of like layer it like in a row, like vertically so then the gnome gets some support on the back jill gates is joining us on the craft fancy page there hi from woodstock illinois hello hello woodstock how you doing woodstock representing in the house uh let's see where else do i got here uh I'm Perfect. try to pick up where i left off no i'm gonna just old penny blaylock says i don't have the gnome is it a die yes it is a die, die. It is a die. It wasn't part of the kit because we do we've so been many doing kits, kits of yeah, we've been doing so many kits of it. So um, put it on your cart today and and um, fifteen percent off everything. Yes, again, we'll just kind of show that same coupon again right there. Why she's just bubbling that up there. Remember, take fifteen percent off your entire purchase today. Include excludes the class kits and clearance, of course. And you want to use spring twenty, spring twenty three, spring twenty three. It's an online sale only. Doesn't mean you can't order online and hit the pick up and store button. But if you want to get the discount, it's online only. Uh, and we get them out right away. Usually ships within 24 hours. This one would be, what, 48 because it's, it's Sunday. Sunday. It so. might actually go out tomorrow. Sunday. Yeah, who knows? We try to get it out right away. We'll be here, so it goes yep. out right away. I'm here every other time. All right. And then also, too, is uh, I've got a couple more comments again. Man, they're flowing. Flow in the comments be buzzing on in today. Buzzing in. Awesome. So here is my sentiment that I stamp with the stamp that came with your kit. Um, you know, just kind of kind of just layer it over and then glue it down. Renee Roberts is saying, yes, Wisconsin needs a show. I'm a newbie. Welcome, Renee. I know, we're so close. Um I miss I miss no shows anymore in Kansas City area. In Kansas, that one. Yes. Oh wow! Uh, Paula Pollock is saying that the Thursday night technique class in Lancaster is already full. It's crazy. Yeah. Just just watch in case somebody cancel, um, because it happens. Usually people buy the tickets, or they they might not make it when it gets closer. But it's Lancaster is a crazy. That's a crazy, crazy show. place. I'd probably say that one's the two crazy ones for uh, CKC is the Lancaster and St. Louis. Yep. All of them are good though, so so don't All don't right. so here take is that my out of little sentiment. I'm just gonna add a little glue on both ends, just on the end here, because you can't really put anything on on in between, or you could put a little foam strip there. But I'm just gonna hold the sentiments at the end. So we uh, let's see here. I got a couple comments really quick while you're doing that. Taste 
Uh, uh, Lori Bailey is saying, I'm a, I'm a newbie. I'd like to start coming to your guys' craft shows by all means. Always welcome to attend the virtual ones. And we're not doing any in-person ones, but we go to a lot of them. So make sure that you uh, try to check out the Craft Fancy page to see where a show, what area you're in there, Lori. Uh, Kathy Kemp says, how about the fairgrounds in West Allis? Super expensive. Too expensive. Too expensive. Too little of a show. Too big of a haul. Yes. So, because we looked already. Uh, but thanks for looking at that. There are a couple halls that we are looking at up there. So, but I think the problem is they're skin full so fast. It's um, it just can fill up. Yes, that's that's also the problem. And it's you know with the especially with the summer and the holidays and you know, it's yep. just filling up like insane. I got. I know a lot of days already full this year. We're talking about Airport Taka for next year. Right. Just adding the little B. I'm down to a oak question here. Janice O'Leary is asking, when are the door prizes? Are they live? Are they drawn live on there? Yes. yes, they are. They're right after this. So I, guys... Right after our presentation, it's going to go live. So yep. here's our second cart. It's done. So we add the little B, the, the build of the gnome, and then the wings is there and the sentiments. I know the gnome B dies has other pieces. And we haven't got a chance to make more samples yet, but we will be making more samples to use these other pieces. So, so hold tight because there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Question from Carol Parker here: Was the black and yellow striped paper for the hat a uh, single sheet it's of paper single and sheet, pads? It's like single sheets. We could put it online if you guys are looking at these. Um, so, if you're looking at the hat, the yellow striped paper or the dot paper. Those are all single sheets, and we could put it online for you um, by the end of the day, so you have time to order it um, before Monday. Sure, sure. We'll put those online for you, and yes, they are single sheets. Yep, yep. And then Pe Penny Blaylark is asking, are you ever a vendor of the Scrap and Stamp Book Expo? We used to. Not we used to. Point. We're just not, not at this time right now, just because our show schedules are pretty filled up between virtuals and other shows that we attend. So that's it. That's two of our both cards for this. Are you coming to Marlboro, Massachusetts this year? Paula's asking us. So here, uh, here's the catch. So we couldn't get the 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 Hilton Garden that we were there last year. They they're booked until like literally until September. So we know there are two shows going to be in Marlboro this year. It's going to be the West Springfield show in June. Yes. And the Manchester show in September because the day got changed. Again, it's all hotel availability and the hall availability. So we will be in the West Spring Crew Show in June, which is about, I think, an hour from Marlboro. I think so. I think it's about an hour, Hopefully maybe 45 from minutes from Marlboro. I, I'm not 100%. But we'll be at that show first weekend of June, just right after the Memorial Day weekend. We are not on uh, Man Manchester yet for the CKC. Um, we're, Brian's going to have to check his schedule because he has other stuff kind of scheduled in the fall might be interfering with the show schedule. So we are not on the CKC Manchester show right now, but we, but it's never going to be for sure until, you know, when we get closer. Yep. Yep. We'll, we'll be doing that. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's show you what we got. So we got about like five minutes, right? Brian? Yes. Uh, so I'm supposed to be done at two, two forty five, two three thirty. So, Oh, five minutes. So, yeah. So we got five minutes. That's okay. So we may, we have some new dyes from Craft Fancy. So I'm going to show you some of the samples that we did with these dyes. Okay. I'm just going to kind of pull it, pull it right over here at the same time with my new stuff. So let's look at the butterfly. Don't make it too confusing for people. Keep it no, clean. Keep it I'm simple. Not. So here is the butterfly dye we did with this part right here. It's a, a side butterfly. We inked the background. So that's this new dye right here that we used. Um, we also have the sentiments, Miss You, which is not in here. So there's a sentiment set called Miss You, Love You, and Sending Big Hugs. It's using this right here. So for this cart right down here, we use a line corner. So it's like a die that cuts this little corner out, and we stamp the sentiment, and we just do a couple little part die that kind of mix that up. So it's kind of simple, but it's I think it's good for a guy cart. It could be happy birthday, it could be thinking of you. 
And we did this one with a little opening, like a little stitch opening and put the leaves inside. And then we stamped the uh, thinking of you with this particular one right there. It's like a, it could be a shaker. It could be a window. It could be various ways for you to use it. Um, we did this one here. We did our circle heart. So it's a, it's a heart circle. And there's a background that can go behind it, which we didn't use on this part. But it's kind of like this with a heart. And I don't know if you guys remember, we did a butterfly circle card a while back, maybe last year. So this is kind of a similar idea, but it's heart instead. We have a little heart envelope right here. Like it's an envelope with three different sizes of heart. So we did a bunch of heart popping out of the envelope. And that's the envelope die and the heart in one set. We did a soup pocket card. So it's a soup pocket. The spoon is not included. The spoon's a real spoon. Um, I thought it looked real. It's a real spoon. It's like a sampling spoon. But it has a pocket. It has the front panels. It has four different circle shapes to stamp your sentiment. And we did a stamp set that goes with that. Um, so we did a soup and a hot cocoa, um, um, you know, wish you a speedy recovery, get well soon, you know, and then, you know, just kind of a sentiment that goes with this, this die and the die itself comes with the stitching circle, the big circle, a scallop circle and a, a zigzag circle kind of works with the sentiments. We have more sample of this too. Now also too is it. No, underneath. Uh, like I know that we, when we made this card, we used the uh, the Lipton soup, which isn't included, but hot chocolate. It could be a hot cocoa. Instant coffee. It could coffees. be a sea, like a seed packet yep. for spring. Um, it could be a gift card. You know, it's a little bigger, but you could make it a gift card with something. You know, make your own there. little personal background with a gift card yep. attached to it. So that's possibilities this. are endless. Um, we're working on lots of little, lots of little things. Um, so what else? We you want little, to get this out of your way now? Yeah. We have a little heart border die that um, we haven't had a chance to give examples of because there was so much stuff coming in. We have a heart die set and then we have a stitch tag, like this little stitch tag with 10 st uh, stitching in there. Okay. That's all the new stuff. All the craft fancy new stuff. And now we're talking about the other new stuff. So we have, I don't know who you guys are, if you guys are 49 and market fan. So we got the new 49 and Market 12 by 12 paper. More 49 Market pink release. And then we got just brand new from Bella Boulevard graduation paper pack. There embell there's embellishment that goes with this. So it's um pack in six by six, twelve by twelve, and embellishment that goes with graduation. It is that time of the year. This is a big fat one. It's a big pack. Oh yeah. And then we have these graduation special, like a laser cut graduation, um, die cut. So it's, I don't know if you can see it in the back. It's hard to see because it's a white on white. But it cuts out. It has this part of it that you could lay it out on your, um, on your um, page. Yep. It's like congratulations. Kick, kick it up um, a notch. We Let's have a, a also EIEIO farm paper from Bella Boulevard. Lots, it's really thick pack here. It's, 20 sheets of single sided, uh, 20 sheets of double sided paper, two sheets of stickers, borders, and all kinds of stuff. Yep. And this is also another farm, um, farm looking layout. Not like, you could do the layout, but it's a laser cut. Just like the, what the back does, it's hard to see it, but it's, it's like a laser cut that does this thing, and then you can lay it on your page. And new, new dies from Pretty Pink Posh. It's an umbrella. You can make a shaker out of it. We did have a, a door prize of this one on the table. Um, new memory box dies, poppy stamps, and the feather. We'll show you the feather sample once we show you the door prize. These are also at store price on the table as well. So that's it. Awesome. That's all we got. Great. So again, Not really fast. We had the little code up there before. This is it. Take fifteen percent off your entire purchase. Exclude cash kits and clearance. Use code Spring Twenty Three to check out. Online sale only. You can come pick it up, but you got to order it online. And it's only valid from 415 to 417. Don't delay. Get those orders in today because we want to get them shipped out. All right. Uh, I'm Brian. 
I'm Carol. And then Tina. And Tina's right here. And then, yep, we had Tina hanging out the whole time watching us. Hey, Tina, what's going on back Tina, here? Tina, Tina. Hey. Come on. Who's up? Hey, come on. She ain't paying attention. All right, we got to go. Uh, guys, remember, uh, we are going to be doing the door prizes next. Just the quotes. No, the quotes do not need to be in. No, just the words, spring two, three. Yep, yep, no quotes. Just, just use that. So uh, you give me about five or ten minutes. We'll uh, switch over. I, I need some time to do a little switch over because I got to set up the cameras. It gets too crazy trying to do one that is craft fancy and then one going back to a right. one of a kind. So I know you guys will tune in and just hang out, go, go to the bathroom. Get some water, uh, some get, some water get rehydrated because we got Kathy and, you know, she always gives us some good laughs. So, all right, guys, uh, again, we're appreciative of everything. Thank you so much for three years of great online support for Craft Fancy. And I hope we get another three years or more. We'll, so. see, you, we'll see you next month or we'll see you in between. We'll right. In between. Right. Or CKC. We'll you yeah, we'll see you at the shows or I'll see you online or I'm going to see you back as one of a kind in about five, 10 minutes. All right. Yep. See you guys real soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.